When Kate Oates, our old producer, approached me with the storyline and, and asked me how I felt about Rana, Rana the character turning gay, um, it was the last thing I expected because obviously she was a man eater. She she flirted with everyone and anyone. She would flirt with a pen if she could. And um, I thought, okay, this is interesting. And I did say, look, if we do this, we have to play out in real time. We have to play as truthful as possible and show the struggles of the, the cultural aspect of it and um, the identity and the struggle and internal struggle of Rana. That was a, a huge moment in Rana's life where she just didn't know where to turn, who to turn to and she was lucky enough to have her brother and Kate there for support, as well as Yasmin. Yasmin's always been the voice of reason in their relationship. Kate had come up with this amazing storyline about them fighting their temptations and their struggles, and it wasn't rosy. They were flawed characters. Rana isn't perfect. She's made a lot of mistakes in her life, and it was. And I think that's what attracted viewers to, to the characters, and, and they... they they became very familiar with the character because of their flaws. Leaving the show was one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make because I absolutely love working here and I love working with Faye. And I think the hardest thing was telling Faye. I felt like I was breaking up with her. Going, I had to t pull her aside and go, Faye, I have something to tell you. And she knew that, you know, I wanted to try the thing. So when I told um, the producer, Ian McLeod, that I wanted to leave, I felt and it, I and I made a clear choice that the only way Rana could leave Kate was to be killed off um, my reasons for that was Kate and Rana had fought so hard to be together um, they'd been through thick and thin they were unbreakable their, their love was pure and I don't believe that Rana would have just hopped in a cab had a change of heart hopped in a cab and left uh, Kate, the only way they could be apart is if the decision was taken out of their hands and it'd have to be torn apart. Oh, that was that was difficult, that was difficult to film. A lot of my scenes in the factory were on the phone, uh, on my own, so uh, what we'd, and also with, with Charlie who plays Imran and Faye who plays Kate, they were outside the factory again on the phone to Rana, so we tried to help each other. So we did actually come in on our days off to read in for each other. So I'm um, during all the time of the, the factory, uh, the, the internal office that we we're filming, um, they did read in with me, and it was it was really special to have her there actually because throughout, oh god, I get emotional. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> we formed a bond that I know that. Only Faye will understand, and God, I don't know I'm getting emotional. Give me a sec. <laughs> oh, I'm really going to miss working with her, and I think there was a bond that Faye and I created, and which was based on trust. And I just having her there in the factory um, reassured me that I knew these scenes were going to be special. We were both bawling our eyes out in between takes because we knew it was the last time we'd be working together. Um, so she just made it a lot easier being there. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting Rana throughout her journey at Coronation Street and for supporting me as an actor. I'm really going to miss working here. Um, I'm going to miss everyone so, so much, especially Faye and Charlie. I love you. Um, just also wanted to say thank you so much to the Karna fandom. Without you guys, this would never have been possible. And thanks to the Nazim Mats Foundation for supporting everyone. Um, someone said that Karna represents hope for people. And that's what I want to leave with you. Lots of love.